Welcome to the W.B. Mason Coaches Report. I'm Amanda Geisel. I'm here with head coach Richard Nuttall of Hofstra Men's Soccer. Thanks for joining us, coach. Cheers, Amanda. Pride is coming off a 2-1 to win over William & Mary this past weekend to stay unbeaten in conference play at 5-0. and uh, Coach, your thoughts on, on being unbeaten in such a tough conference at this point in the season? Well, I'm very proud of where we're at, but we, we can't get ahead of ourselves. You know, with three more games to go, anything can happen. And we've got a tough game against Repsol on Wednesday, and that's all we're focused in on there. Brilliant win against Willem and Mary, Workman Light. I thought we did really well for 83 minutes. Panicked a little bit at the end, gave up a soft goal. But just pleased to be uh, in the position we are. But we've got to, again, it's new us being in this position and not seeing it through. So from our point of view, we've got to have a lot of determination. We've got to have a focus. We've got to have a mentality that's concentrated and, and understand we, we, we have a job to do against Drexel first. In that game on Saturday, Daniel Massey had two goals. He came off the bench for you after Luke Brown started the game. What did you like from Massey that night, and how do you feel having that depth at that forward position? Well, we like from Massey that he got two goals for us. <laughs> it's great, you know. He's a he's a goal scoring machine, and you know he's a bit unlucky this year because Luke's also been doing very well. And between the two of them, I think they're both exceptional goal scorers. And but they're similar type players, so it's hard to have both of them on the field. Especially with the pace we've got on the outside, um, you know, the flying machines we've got. So, from our point of view, it's a battle between Luke and Danny for that central spot most of the time, unless we want to go a little bit more pace down the middle. But he's, he's a great goal scorer, he's got energy, and uh, he's a wonderful young man. He puts a lot of pressure on himself. Uh, you know, he, he gets up tight at times, we're trying to get him to relax and take it easy, understand, just work out and see what comes. But, uh, very, very pleased with him, especially as his mum and dad were there from England uh, oh, to see him score. So, uh, really pleased about that and, uh, you know, hoping for more uh, in the future. That game against William & Mary, another pretty solid defensive effort from mm -hmm. your team, um, only allowing three shots on goal yet again. What's, what's going well still with that defensive system that the whole team is playing? I, I think it's... It, it is the system, you, you, you said it is the system, but within a system you could have the angels work to that system and execute and we get a lot of individual guys working hard within the system to, to you know, gain the rewards of, our, our, of the actual system, if that sounds right. So it's not it's all right having a system if the guys don't execute and they've been working hard, create one-on-one -on -one defending, great determination, winning headers, winning tackles, and it, it's just a combination of all, all factors that go towards great team defence from the forwards backwards. Going into the game against Drexel Wednesday night here at Hofstra Soccer Stadium, it's a team that's struggled a little bit this year. How do you prepare your team mentally for a game like that so they're not overlooking yeah. this Drexel team? Well, the record means nothing. They're a good team with great players, and the CAA, there is not, we've not had one easy conference game for many years and every year, year it's a battle whoever you're playing so we've got to understand that and Drexel if they have a good day and we do have an off day will beat us simple as that we've got quality players and a good going forward and uh, a bit of confidence they're lacking in confidence but they're good individually so we, we've got to be on our game and we've got to understand it's going to be hard work grit and determination. With a 5-0 record coming in that game do you think Drexel will come out fired up that to take down that first place team? Well, I think they've nothing to lose. Coach S is a great coach and he's well organised. He'll, he'll get his troops going and I think it's going to be the old proverbial battle. And they, every CA game is the same. Uh, they'll be fired up. They'll, they'll get at us. They've got some pace up top and, and they're decent through midfield. So, again, uh, if, we, if we don't perform to, a, to our level, we'll be in for a shock. Then looking ahead to this weekend, uh, taking the trip down to Wilmington, who have been ranked in the national polls in the past few weeks. What are you, once you get past Drexel, what are you thinking heading into that matchup? Yeah, you said the right thing, man. The game past Drexel, <laughs> as a coach will say, we concentrate on the next game. But UNCW will be ranked as high as eight in the country. Their RPI is very good. They're an outstanding team all over the park, well coached by Aidan Neeney. Um, they've had a couple of games postponed recently, so they've got a busy uh, schedule. But we, that will, again will be a fantastic game of soccer. It always is against UNCW, always tight games, 
always go down to, it goes down to the last minute. We're expecting a momentous battle there too. Thanks for joining us today, Coach. This has been the W.E. Mason Coaches Report with Head Coach Richard Nuttall.